Well, I had another one of those types of days, so buckle up. Um, yesterday, I was supposed to go in for my job at 8 p.m., which is a way later shift than most of the ones I usually get. The reason for that is because ever since they raised wages in the earlier part of the year, they also have cut hours so that people who used to have like seven, eight hour shifts now get these like weird uh, four to five ones again, so they can like save money. They don't want to, they, they don't want to pay people more, but they want to keep hiring more people. Make that make sense. So, uh, about two days ago, I noticed as I was coming back from there that one of my tires, or at least I thought one of them was kind of acting up, you know, when you drive on, it feels kind of weird. And I came out the place yesterday and saw that it was kind of like cut up on the side. So I devised a plan where, you know, shift starts at eight. I usually leave two hours early, but in this case, I left at four o'clock to go and get the, um, to try and get the tire replaced. I left this early because a lot of these tire places and businesses tend to close after, you know, five, six p.m. Like around, around when the sun goes down is when they start to close and just have, you know, be done for the day. So the guy I went to the last time. I had something like this happen two months ago, wasn't open for whatever reason. And I went to these other people across the street for $50. They put a new tire on my front left side. But after I leave from there, I start to still feel like something's kind of off, like just the way it's moving. And I'm thinking, and at first I'm in my mind, I'm like, okay, maybe I'm, I'm thinking, you know, just like it's me being paranoid because that has happened before where after having something happen with a car or the car, I'll start to kind of feel, you know, just nervous. Like, oh man, I hope this doesn't happen again. But as I'm on the freeway, I'm driving, you know, things are still feeling kind of a little bit. I'm thinking, okay, maybe again, that's just me and, you know, internally being whatever. As I'm at the point of almost getting ready to get off, I'm about five miles from my job. Like I'm really close to there. All of a sudden, I start hearing that, sh -sh 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 -sh. and then I pull over, you know, some like corner that's the, not one of the lanes people usually drive in, and that's where I see that um, the tire didn't explode, but pieces of it, like, came off. And when I first see this, um, I you know I initially try to call an insurance the insurance company, and then this, I guess, one of the people that is managing the highways like hey, you can't park here so i go and drive over to a gas station um i'm able to get towed after about 30 or 40 minutes of just the shenanigans of dealing with these people but what i thought was interesting so i mentioned earlier that this shift was so late because these places don't want to pay people and i mentioned that i tend to leave two hours before work the, the part of this that frustrates me the most is that I look at the other shifts I'm scheduled for this week, which are like 3 p.m., 5 p.m., which means for the 3 p.m. one, I'll probably leave around like 12, 31 o'clock. For the 5 p.m. one, I'll leave around 2, 30, 3 o'clock. And what gets me is that even if this same series of events played out on a day where I came in earlier where, you know, I go to a tire place, get the thing fixed up before heading over there, and then the other one is messed up too, if that same series of events had happened, I would have been close to arriving at the location site of my job almost two hours before it's even supposed to start and able to either directly call the insurance company and have them take me to a tire place because they would have still been open this early in the day, which meant I would have been able to get another tire put on there and then still been on had enough time to get to work instead of, oh, because it's so late, all the places are closed, so I guess you'll just have to wait until tomorrow to be able to drive again. It's it's just it's a it's it's a domino effect where like one thing leads to another, you know, if they if they didn't give you a shift that was so late in the day because they don't want to pay people more money by giving them more hours during, you know, one day, uh, you could have come in earlier or, or been on your way earlier. And if this same thing had happened, you would have it would have been early enough in the day to where most of the local 
tire shops and tire places would be, you know, susceptible to assisting you with getting this repaired. And as I came back, because I was, I didn't feel as frustrated as last time where my phone was off and just, it, it seemed like the whole world collapsed in one day. I was able to call the place and say, hey, I can't come in. And they said, they, they said some crap about try to get somebody to replace you. It's like, it's an hour before on a weeknight and I don't talk to any of these people. So that's not going to happen. But, you know, my thing is if they if they want to get upset with me for now, you know, missing two days after 11 months of being there, then let them. I, I just, I don't even care anymore. Because the truth is, I'm, I'm past the point of breaking my back to stay with a company that doesn't give a damn. Uh, and I've always felt like it was ridiculous that you even had to drive that far to work somewhere. But I, I put up with it just for the sake of having a job. So if, if, if something happens, well, I tried as hard as I could. I, I, I'm, I'm just not going to lose any sleep over it. Um, but what I will lose sleep over is how I sat here and this happened and I had two different relatives. I mentioned my relatives are of the, you know, we run our mouths but can't do anything to assist you uh, variety. And one of them starts talking about, oh, you're using those used tires. If you would get some new ones, then this wouldn't. And I'm just like thinking to myself, and I, I even, I, I kind of voiced a little bit, but of course they don't. They never like see the point in anything you say to them. If I did not have to pay for the assortment of things I pay for each month, uh, that could be bill related stuff that all totals to about six, $700. And then, you know, the various things of uh, just utilities like food and gas, you know, maybe I would be more receptive to getting all of the tires replaced or getting new tires. But what, what is so obnoxious about these people is that they are aware of the cost of things, the fact that I have no support, and then they expect me to just... I, I guess they believe money just grows on trees. I had another one talking about going to uh, American Tires and s spend $250. And I'm just like, again, who? Where do they? where do they think this money comes from? So in all likelihood, I'll just go to um, one of the other local tire places, have them put another one on the other side, and probably just try to see about learning how to change it myself. Um, because the real issue here is that this type of stuff is susceptible to happen at any point you're driving. It's just that if you don't have places available to get it changed or the time to get it changed then you know there's a bigger uh, issue there but I, I, I just <sighs> it's always something 